This is question 22 from module two hard of blue book practice test six. The function f is defined by f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants. The graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane passes through the points seven zero and negative three zero. If a is an integer greater than one, which of the following could be the value of a plus b? One way to solve this problem is to recognize that the two points given are the solutions to the function, meaning these are the values where the function will intersect the x-axis. So the function will intersect the x-axis at x is 7 and x is negative 3. This is beneficial because the vertex of a quadratic function, which this is because it's an x squared uh, function, the vertex is always halfway between the solutions because the vertex is where the axis of symmetry is. That means the number halfway between 7 and negative 3 is 2. So the vertex will be somewhere on the line x equals 2, somewhere here. A convenient formula for a quadratic function to find the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. So negative b over 2a must equal 2. We can multiply both sides by 2a to get negative b equals 4a, or b equals negative 4a. So it is determined that whatever the constant b is, it will always be negative 4 times the value of a. The question is asking for the value of a plus b. Since it is now known that b is equal to negative 4a, we can substitute that value in for b to get a minus 4a, which simplifies to negative 3a. It's stated that a is an integer greater than 1. Because it's an integer, that means it's going to be no fractions or decimals. So a is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, and it has to be greater than 1. So it could be 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Of the answer choices, the only one that can be attained if a is an integer greater than 1 is negative 6. If a is equal to 2, then negative 3 times 2 would equal negative 6, which does yield answer choice A. This question is asking for which of the following could be the value of A plus B. So there will not be a definitive singular answer for A plus B. But given the answer choices, choice A is the only one that is satisfied if A is greater than 1.